I just got up and walked to the door, and I saw it. Um, we, we got a bit more than 50. That is just absolutely insane. I cannot thank you guys enough for that. The support on that video was crazy. I just asked for 50 likes and we got over 8,000, which is just unbelievable. But I heard your complaints from the last video. It wasn't hard enough. All right, all right, I get it, I get it. But what if I add expert mode? Uh, that's not good enough. How about I add no EX moves? That That's still not good enough. How about no damage? That's right, the world's first cup lock. The rules for a cup lock are, the game must be completed on expert mode, you're not allowed to buy or equip any charms, you're not allowed to buy or equip any shots other than the pea shooter, you're not allowed to equip any super arts, you're not allowed to use any EX moves during a fight, you're not allowed to collect any coins, you cannot retry a boss, once you're in the boss fight you're in it forever, and the most important rule of them all, if you take any hits of damage, you must restart your entire run. Before this video begins, if you could leave a like on the video, and maybe even consider subscribing, that would really mean a lot to me. 98% of people that watch my videos aren't subscribed, so it would be really awesome if you could subscribe to the channel, and if not, like the video, and if not, I hope you enjoy it, and that's pretty much it. Let's get right into the video. This is later editing me. I have two more things to add, so the video is not going to start yet, but the first thing I wanted to say was thanks for 5,000 subscribers. That's actually insane. That's not what I wanted to say, but thanks for that as well. But if you want to see the proof for this video, I won't have it out directly if you're watching this when I first post it, because it does take a lot of time to export, but I should have it out within the next two days. And also, I need you to do something for me. If you watch this video, go comment on Sample's most recent video. Sample, the YouTuber, uh, he beat me in the race to beat Rumor Honey Bottoms first without jumping. He beat me. And I don't know how I feel about that. So make sure that he knows. I need you to go to his comment section and comment, go try the cup lock challenge by this guy. But sample, if you beat this, don't don't clown on me that bad. Anyways, let's go to the video. And to start off the cup lock, we will be versing the root pack. This boss fight, I like I always say is not that difficult. Ah, oh, sh**. Here we go again. It's a bit annoying having to remember to not use EX moves, because I always want to, because I'm used to doing that, but I don't, because I can't. So that was a bit weird, but other than that, it wasn't that hard, and we breeze past it and go on to Ribby and Croaks. Our next boss fight is Kermit and Harold. <laughs> Sorry, Ribby and Croaks. That's it. The only annoying thing about this first phase is the fireflies that Croak sent out because I couldn't actually hit them very well with my pea shooter because it's a direct line, so I couldn't really curve it to hit them. And yeah, other than a couple of things that I had to get used to, it was not bad. And we head on to another boss, Goopy Legrand. Let's go. That's right, Goopy Legrand. He's a blue ball. Wait, what? I don't really have much to say about this boss fight. I mean, he was a bit difficult, but that was only really during his final phase because I had to chase him around with the pea shooter. Other than that, I could just stay really close to him, and whenever he would jump over me, I'd just turn around and shoot him. And yeah, that's pretty much it. The next boss of the challenge will be Hildeberg. And if you don't know already from my last video, 
during this battle, I'm not allowed to use bombs, obviously, because it's the first level. But I can't use bombs, and I'm also not allowed to use the nuke super, because it counts as a super. I'm also not al allowed to use the EX moves either, because that's just in the challenge rules in the first place. This boss fight's pretty similar to normal mode in expert mode, because the only difference is that instead of fighting the bull, then you have to fight both the twins and the archer instead of one or the other. But yeah, we shot her a ton, she had an aneurysm, then she turned into a moon, and we won. Can we die already? Our final boss of Inkwell Isle 1 is another vegan. Let's go. This was the only boss in Inkwell Isle 1 that really gave me a challenge, and it was mainly just because of the fucking seeds that she sent out. They are literally homing missiles with teeth. There's nothing worse than what she sends out. But once I got past that phase, it was perfectly fine. I'd like to solve what the dog doing. My dog, not like being spied on, but I don't like his presence all the time. He's constantly there. I turn around. Anyways, we beat Cagney Carnation and we're on to Inkwell Isle 2. His name's not on the f papers, is it? Does he even have a name? Our first boss of Inkwell Isle 2 is obviously going to be Barnes Von Bonbon. For this boss fight, I got pretty lucky with what minions she sent out. I ended up getting the waffle, the candy corn, and the gumball machine. Her final phase is always a bit annoying, especially during expert mode, but we were able to get it done. That was clean. And the next boss after that is Jimmy the Great. I know how to say it, okay? Stop the cap! <laughs> I didn't find this boss fight much of a challenge, mainly because this is the one that I practiced a ton for the S rank. So I already know how to beat him on expert mode. So it wasn't that bad. His final phase and the cuppet phase is a bit annoying, but other than that, it wasn't too bad. That's all people say. That's all they say. Grant me wishes, bitch. Give them to me. All right, let's go, Beppy time. Whoop. The true problem came in his second phase of the fight because I could not hit the dog balloons. I could not, I don't know why. It's so hard to hit them with the pea shooter. So I took so much damage from this and I I just had to get lucky with what balloons he spawned because sometimes he does the three on one side and that is so difficult to dodge. So really I just had to get lucky with where he spawned them and hope that I didn't get hit. I'm slowly realizing through editing this that this challenge is making me lose my mind, so I don't know, enjoy this. How are you not dead yet, you fucking donkey? Limp donkey. Now wait for the fucking all the penguins to come out. Ha! Huzzah! Wally Warbles. This goddamn bird made me lose so many times. I'm not even gonna tell you how many times. I lost so many times to this bird, and it is all because of his final phase. His final phase is the stupidest thing, probably the dumbest thing in this challenge. And I'm about to tell you why, but first, here's this. In and out. Oh. I'm not even clean with it, bro. Can we just respect that for a moment? Because that was fucking sick. That was cool. Anyways, the real reason why I lost to this boss so many times was because of the final phase. But if you don't know, the final phase is specially designed to use the lobber bombs because they're the weapons that you just unlocked before doing the boss fight. And I don't know if you read the rules, but I can't use the lobber bombs. So what do I do? I sit down and shoot his ass until he dies, and if I get hit, I have to restart the entire thing. That's it. 
Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh. At least we didn't die on that one. <sighs> okay, with that over, we're on to the final boss of Inkwell Isle 2, and that's Grim Matchstick. To be completely honest here, this boss fight actually wasn't that bad. The only problem was his first phase, because the clouds were moving towards me in his first phase, because they're in reverse. So whenever I would try to jump to a cloud, it would go off screen, because they're coming from off screen, so I can't land on them, because I can't see them. So that was a bit difficult, so I took a fair bit of damage on that, which would make me restart the run. But once we got past that, it wasn't really that bad because in his third phase, when he would shoot the fireballs, they were always coming directly towards me because that's the only way I can hit them with the pea shooter, which were which made them pretty easy to dodge. And yeah, that's pretty much it for this boss fight. Ah, ah, oh. Okay, chill out, boys. Clean. We had some risky f things at the start. <laughs> and just like that, we're on to Inkwell Isle 2. Or, er, hold on. And just like that, we're on to Inkwell Isle 3. And we're on to our least favorite boss fight Rumor Honeybottoms. Because of my jumpless video, I know the inner mechanisms of this boss fight. So, to be truthful, I thought this boss fight was going to be bad, but since I had so much practice, obviously not in expert mode, but arguably doing a harder challenge than this, doing this jumpless, I had so much experience with it, so it this boss fight wasn't too bad. The only real challenge came in her final phase because I had to stay really close to the ground to actually hit her. I could have locked on and aimed down towards her, although I didn't like that as much because I ended up going through the platforms by accidentally pressing X, and which would make me go through the platforms instead of jumping. So I decided to just ride the wall and stay as close to the ground as possible without taking damage so I could always be damaging her. And it worked out. W gang. Told you we got this. For our next match, we've got this Captain Bing Bong. Your life, Bing Bong. This boss fight wasn't actually that bad. His second phase wasn't terrible, and the third phase is just the second phase, but you have to jump a couple times. Oh, squid stall, baby. All my homies love stall and squid. I'm goaded. How can you say that my friend's not good with the sauce? It's crazy to me that they don't think he's goaded with the sauce. You can see him on the yard right there, actually. He's busting it down sexual style, and they want to say he's not goaded with the sauce. It's really despicable. His final phase is a bit annoying because I constantly had to jump so I could hit the hitbox on him. But other than that, it wasn't that bad. All I had to do was really just pay attention to dodging, and that's pretty much it. Easy dogs. I told you, Captain Bing Bong. What's up, baby? Take me out to dinner. Hey, yo! Moving on from that, we go to Calamaria. It's hot. My room is not as good. Hey, yo! This boss wasn't actually as bad as I expected it to be. I thought it was going to be way more difficult because I rely a lot on EX moves and super moves, especially during her final phase. I just had to get lucky with what enemies she sent out, and that combined with the almighty power of button mashing. Get out of there! Oh my god, dude. We were able to beat her. There we go. Play the violin, boy. And just like that, we go on to fight a woman. I mean, Sally stage play. I decided to do this one before skipping to Verna Vermin because I find this one easier on expert mode, especially when doing this challenge. Really the only phases that gave me any trouble were her second phase and her final phase, 
Her second phase was really bad because it's basically just a bullet hell and I can't take any damage. So I was literally just jumping for my life and hoping that I didn't get hit by anything. And during her final phase, it's not that it was hard, it was that it was time consuming because I had to make sure I wasn't getting hit by the umbrella whilst still hitting her with all of my bullets. So then she would die because that's the point. Easy. I told you, it's literally just a woman. The palms are starting to get sweaty. This dude's literally a mouse. Or a rat, whatever. It doesn't matter. He can be a jawbreaker for all I care. If you don't understand by now, the next boss is Vernon Vermin. Again, much like every other boss in this challenge, the whole boss wasn't bad. It was just one or two phases that were really annoying. For this boss, it's his second phase. His second phase is the only thing that I can describe to be the worst thing on planet Earth. Anything you can think of, it's not as bad as Pea Shooter Only, Expert Verna Vermin Phase 2. It's just not. I'm sorry. Like... You, you, just, you just can't. If you want to know the problem, it's the soda bubbles. Obviously. Sometimes you literally get locked out of where you're going. There's an impenetrable f wall of them. If you walk into them, you take damage. If you walk into the fire, you take damage. You can't go anywhere. Other than that, the final phase with the cat and the ghosts weren't that annoying. I would just try and take out two or three of the ghosts so then he didn't he wasn't as inclined to spawn more ghosts in but i ended up taking out all four of them accidentally which made the match way easier and we finished it i told you homie's just a rat oh sh a rat! our next boss is probably your worst nightmare, my worst nightmare, it's everybody's worst nightmare. If you go and verse this boss, you'll wake up with piss in your bed. Oh. It's Dr. Cal's robot. <laughs> what is that? That's that. The true reason for why this boss gives me nightmares is because of his final phase. His final phase is... I don't even know what. How do you describe this? Like, what is that? What is that? Doing this boss, especially with no damage and on expert, was very, very difficult. And after some extremely close calls, we were able to beat him. Did you see that fucking dodge? That was fucking clean as shit, dude. That was so clean. With that old man out of our way, we are now on to the Phantom Express. I originally thought this boss was going to cause a lot of trouble because it was really, really late in the run, but it actually wasn't that bad. The only problems came in the first and final phase. The first phase was a bit annoying because sometimes the eyeballs would slip through the pea shooter shot and I would get hit by them. Like I said earlier, the middle stages aren't that bad. During the skeleton stage, I just stayed on the cart and locked onto him. And during the third phase, I did the exact same thing just to avoid the electricity. The final phase was only annoying was because I constantly had to dodge all of those flames. But other than that, I found the skeleton things pretty easy to dodge. And yeah, we were able to finish it. This is the farthest I've ever made it. Oh god. As you can tell by my voice, during this part of the run I was about to enter into cardiac arrest, but that doesn't matter and we went on to King Dice. The mini bosses I decided to choose for this battle were the third one, which is the cigarette, 
I chose that one because I could stay directly across from him, and I found it the easiest for this challenge. My second one I chose was number four, which is the dominoes. I just find those easiest out of the three, so I chose them. And the final one I chose was number eight, because that... Um... Alright then. I usually don't go for Mr. Chimes, I usually go for the 8th one, which I find one of the easiest in the entire boss battle, but we were able to get it done and it wasn't actually too bad. We were then on to the actual boss fight. I've gotten so good at this boss fight by doing the S rank that I was able to easily stay up on top of the cards. I chose to stay up on top of the cards instead of going behind his hands, just in case he didn't do back to back. So, and then I could also do constant damage if I was up on his hands. And yeah, we finished it. Oh my god. Oh, my hands. My hands. I might as well just dip them in a bath. Oh my god. Okay. At this point, there was so much adrenaline in my body, you probably could have shot me in the face and I wouldn't even have noticed, but none of that matters because we're on to the final boss fight of this challenge, the devil. Finally, the final boss of this challenge, and he sucks. He's hard, I, I, that, yeah. His first phase isn't completely terrible. All you have to really do is learn how to dodge all of his attacks which I guess is a lot, but yeah. I developed a tactic which prioritized damage over anything else and then just hope that I didn't get hit because I wanted to make sure I did the most amount of damage in this first phase because there are so many moves that I could easily mess up on and take damage. Once he started his second phase, I wanted to stay to the left of him just for personal preference and I could stay on either the second or fourth platform, and if I shot diagonally with the pea shooter, I could hit him almost every single time and easily get past the second phase. Once he entered his third phase, I developed a strategy known as the jump around till he misses because he can't hit you because you're jumping around and doesn't know what you're doing method. I basically just move so I don't get hit. That that's that's the method. Anyways, once he enters his final phase, we stand to the right corner of the platform, shoot directly up, and pray that we don't get screwed over when jumping around the poker chip whatever. And we finally beat this challenge. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh, I don't even know what to do! I don't even know what to do! Oh my! Oh! Oh! I'm about to die! I'm gonna die! I'm actually gonna die! Yeah. We did it. After almost two weeks of attempts, we actually did it. I don't know how I was able to pull this off, but I was. And yeah, I don't really have anything else to say. Feel free to do this challenge if you want to. I don't recommend it, but I mean, you can if you want to. Thanks again for all the support on the channel. I really hope you guys are enjoying these videos. And remember, don't, don't. Make sure Sample knows that I beat this challenge. Make sure, make sure that he knows that. Make sure, make sure. Go to his comments. Tell him, cause, cause we're we're mortal enemies now. He's he's my he's my he's my he's my mortal enemy. He thinks he can shoot bees better than me, but can he do this better than me? Hopefully not. Anyways, but don't be nice. Don't be nice. Okay. But, yeah, I don't really have anything else to say. Thank you guys again for the support on the channel, support on the videos, support on everything. Hopefully, if you're watching this, I was able to get my channel unbanned. If you want to see how that is, I have a stream where I talk about it. But, yeah, 
I don't know what else to say, but thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you liked it, please leave a like and consider subscribing, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.